Mike Brown Jr. could have been a white guy, an Asian guy. If you have your hands in the air and the police fire shots at you, I think all of you guys would be assembling right now to find the answers out to that situation. So this is a community-wide, nationwide call to understand an incident that happened on that day. I don't want to lose track of it. The Ferguson Police Chief's decision to release the still pictures in the video. Uh, the family feels that that was strategic. They think it was aimed at uh, denigrating their son. It was a character assassination attempt. Uh, that is pretty much the sentiments of everyone that I've discussed. They think the timing is suspect. And at a time where the highway patrol has been called in, where we got a calm that's going on in the community, we finally reaching a point where things are settled down. He's now inciting the community all over again. Earlier, the chief did release a video uh, that was basically what we think was basically smoke and mirrors to try to divert the attention away from what really occurred. The events that took place on Canfield had nothing to do with whatever grocery store Michael may have been in or the person who was on the video was in because we don't know that that was Michael for sure. So whatever that took place there had nothing to do with an individual getting down on his hands and knees raising his hands in the air and saying, don't shoot. This is a universal call for I surrender. And I can hear my cousin's voice right now as I speak saying, don't shoot. Yet and still the officer stepped to him and shot him is what we're hearing from officer. And that is wrong. And we want the truth to come out and we sure that it will as the day goes on.